Hey, what's up everybody? In this video I got an update for one of the uh, builds that came out about a week and a half ago called Multi-Tool Disintegration Build. And so this one has been updated with better gear and also the modified skills. So let's get right to those. I'm using Disintegrate with Volatility. Now this is a single button build, so this is what I am only using. I'll buff up and then that's it. So I'm using Volatility to get, to get that uh, cool explosion that if there's a chance, 35% chance that if enemies are killed by this, they'll explode. Um, for my two damaging skills, I'm using Meteor with Thunder Crash uh, for lightning damage and Mistral Breeze with for cold damage. So now this is using Convention of Elements, so I do want all four. So those are the three. Um, Fire is a little bit lacking, but uh, I wanted to make sure that I only had two casters in there. Well, three, but two that are cast by Disintegrate. So I'm using Spark Flint with Familiar for the 10% damage gain along with the fire damage. And then Magic Weapon with Ignite for the damage increase along with 300% weapon damage as fire over three seconds. And then finally I'm using Energy Armor with Prismatic Armor for defense. And then for my passives I'm using Temporal Flux. And the reason for this is that uh, since the only CC that I'm getting is off of uh, the cold damage from Mistral Breeze, um, I do have uh, the gem, ancient gem, or legendary gem that increases damage to CC'd enemies. So I decided to put in Temporal Flux instead of Elemental Exposure. Now, Elemental Exposure will work with this build, but I'm not hitting them with all four things at once. So um, Temporal Flux will give me a 28% damage increase on any enemies that I hit with Disintegrate for two seconds. So that's why I went with that. Now, uh, I went with Glass Cannon for the damage increase and then also uh, a little bit of damage decrease but that's offset by blur and then finally audacity uh, for that 30 percent additional damage to enemies within 15 yards so for my gear oops, uh, for my main hand I have uh, the twisted sword everything is ancient since this is a legacy of nightmares build with a two-piece ring set bonus so I'm getting a 1300 percent damage increase and a 52 percent damage decrease because everything is ancient so I'm using the Twisted Sword to make uh, Energy Twister much more powerful for each one that's released. For my offhand, I'm using the Etch Sigil for allowing Disintegrate to cast both Meteor and Twister. So that makes it a one-button build. And then for my belt, I have Hergbrash's Binding, which allows uh, me to pretty much use Disintegrate indefinitely. Now, I do have uh, this on my Sigil. Critical hits grant four arcane power. Now that's a big one because without that, I will actually slowly use arcane power. Now that's not such a big deal, but for me, I want it at maximum because of the Aquila Curus. If my primary resource is always maxed out, I have a damage reduction of 50%. Um, for my gloves, I just have the gloves of worship. Shrine effects last for 10 minutes. Um, yeah, there's not really too much for this build that would make it better. For as far as gloves, so I just went with these. Got pretty good stats on them. For my shoulders, I got the mantle of channeling. Um, for any uh, build just using channeling mainly, these are a must have because of the increased damage and defense while you channel. So um, these are excellent shoulders. For my crown or helmet, I'm using Lyric's Lyra crown along with a life gem. That way I'm getting about a 38% increase in life. And right now I'm standing on 1.3 million health. Uh, for my legs, I just have placeholders, depth diggers. Um, I've been trying to get uh, another pair, uh, but I haven't yet. So I'm just using these for the ancients and the stats. For my boots, I'm using Milfer's Boast for the increased meteor damage by two or three times as much damage, depending on the situation. For my wrists, I'm using Rantzler's Folly for the energy twister to pull in lesser enemies. This is a huge help for when I'm using Disintegrate because since it is such a very pinpointed um, skill, this will group up enemies so I could hit entire groups of them. Only lessers though. It does not work on elites or bosses. Um, for my necklace, I'm just using Squirt's Necklace just for the stats. I could find better, but I haven't yet. So for my legendary gems, I'm using Bane of the Trapped for the 28% damage increase against any CC'd enemies, also slowing anybody that gets near me. Now, the second one is Bane of the Powerful. Um, this one's for increasing damage against elites and also a 20% increased damage for 
just over a minute after killing an elite pack. And then finally I'm using Z's Stone of Vengeance. This, since I do have a 30% increase up close, this allows me to have a 30% increase at long distance. So now, at both very close range and very long range, I will have a huge damage increase. Anything in between does get a damage increase, but not as much. So, uh, there's a little Goldilocks zone where you kind of notice it, but still, it, it makes it so that it's a very powerful build at, uh, at both ranges. And that's about it for that gear. Let's go look at the Kanai's cube. So now for my weapon, I'm using Death Wish for the 35% damage increase while I channel Disintegrate. I'm using Strong Arm Bracers for the 30% damage increase for Energy Twister pulls. Um, now this does not work with Elites or Bosses because um, Rancler's Folly only pulls lesser enemies. One little thing about that though is that the Enchantress does have Forceful Push which does knock back Elites. So that helps there with that bonus. And then finally, I'm using Convention of Elements. Um, this is a huge damage increase, so you'll see that um, my Disintegrate will get up over a billion per tick when it's on Arcane. My uh, Meteor will get up over five billion when it's on Lightning, and so on and so forth. Fire doesn't help too much. That fire is kind of the last damager in this build. So anyway, let's go start up a Greater 45 Rift. And we'll buff up, and we'll start this. I do really like this build. Um, I do like simple builds, but if they get too simple, then I, I always try to rework and make it so that they're better and not so simple. So now what I do is I just uh, wait to get that first elite, and now I'm doing huge amounts of damage. And typically, what I'll do is I'll just keep keep disintegrate down until everything on the screen is dead. You can run around, um, but sometimes Energy Twister will pull them in all kinds of weird directions. Yeah, that was a terrible direction to go. But um, <clears throat> as you can see, Entropy really helps on the pulls because when an enemies die, they have a chance to explode if they're killed by or Entropy, uh, by Volatility off of uh, Disintegrate. And then that's a huge damage. It's kind of like an unbuffed meteor hitting them when that does go off. And as you see, the number damage numbers are pretty big. I'm doing about uh, 300 to 500 million with just Disintegrate alone. And then that will go up over a billion with the um, Convention of Elements proc. And so, very powerful build. I really do like it. it, it um, when I first started making videos again, uh, I did want to make a multi-tool build, that's why I like calling them, because it has so many different things going for it with CCs and then uh, damage types and everything like that. And all put it into one button, and this is kind of the culmination of it. Then now this can get better too. Um, there's uh, some modifications you could do to it. You could change up a couple skills or even swap out, um, disintegrate with um, the ice beam and then change your energy twister to the one that combines that increase doubles its damage there's a lot of things you could do this is the way after a lot of trial and error this is kinda of what I like though is that um, being able to just kind of spray left to right hit everything and then watch it all die and it, it since you can't really tell there is a little bit of randomness to it now essentially the overall damage is very high with this without um, convention of elements. That's the nice thing. Uh, with convention of elements, now you have kind of a chance to do enormous amounts of damage depending on the skill. So now really if it's on fire for this exact build, it's not going to do very much. But if it's on arcane, lightning, both of those will do huge amounts of damage. And then uh, also if you got a lot of twisters up, cold will too. So. As you see, it's very easy to walk through this. Um, I know I can do higher, greater rifts. I'm just doing this one for the video to quickly go through it and portray how the build works and what it does. But, uh, ooh, conduit. Also, when you grab shrines with this... Oh, well, okay. Since we're in a greater rift, there's only pylons. Um, things do get very crazy, especially with the increased damage. 
now you're doing like what three times more damage or something like that for my estimates I'm not sure exactly what it does but uh but the damage output is so enormous that you just quickly spray across enemies and they all die so the build works very well and it um, does work very good when you stand toe to toe it is quite tanky because of the exact gear that I have with the, the Keyless Curious and uh, and the prismatic armor and speed lightning though their speed shrines do help quite a bit too but uh... yeah i'm very happy with the build and uh... next build is probably going to be an update of my arcane singularity build that was actually a very fun build now one gets very powerful it goes beyond this one for the just the base damage um, especially with uh, some of the different damage increases that you can manually do. It's not quite as simple as this, but it almost is. So, um, let me get through this real fast. And here I'm completing, I think, in about five or six minutes, I could complete a level 45. I have been farming these a lot. That's why you see my, uh, if you've been watching my uh, Paragon level go up, it's just mainly from just sing solo Greater Rift 45s. Just trying to get gear and everything like that, and seeing what drops. I just have fun doing it. So when I play with other people, it's not very much fun because people tend to run off when they're overpowered, and then you'll have instead of fighting enemies, you'll tend to run across the map to grab a legendary or a, yeah, a legendary. Oh, there we go. So this guy, I'm just gonna stand toe to toe with him and just burn him down. Now sometimes I can't do this depending on which. Rift Guardian it is, but that's all it took. So, and since single hard targets will get all the damage types hit on them, you know, a lot of uh, enemies don't, they will uh, they will take quite a bit of damage from everything, all just building up, and then they'll just burn down very quick. So that took me about five minutes, I think. Five, six, seven minutes, or whatever the hell, however long the length is. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to hit the like button if you did, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more builds. I'm going to be doing uh, wizards, wizard builds for a little bit longer, and I'm thinking about um, setting everything up for starting to do witch doctor builds. So if you want to catch up with those two, um, uh, make sure to subscribe also. <laughs> and then I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.